so guys this uh, video is very important for this uh, students who are planning to apply for uh, january 22 then for may 22 and then september because these are the recent um, intakes which are going to be there so if you are planning to apply then right now is the right time plus we'll also share uh, uh, like we'll have a wonderful surprise for you that you can get the free application fee also like you don't have to pay any application fee for few of the colleges so that's an advantage for you so i think we shall begin now uh, we have got a uh, few people joined in so let's start with today's video so in this video we are going to cover again i'm explaining the topic that we are going to cover the top 5 colleges to study in canada in this video we are going to talk about uh, what is the fee what are you going to pay the ielts requirement the location eligibility criteria the duration of the course as well as the application fee how much you have to pay in order to study there so uh, for the first uh, like let's discuss what are the most uh, popular courses at these colleges so when we are talking about uh, studying in canada we want to make sure that we take up a course which is uh relevant to your past study as well as which can fetch you pr later on because that is uh, the most of the focus we have uh, when we are applying to study in canada that we want to take up a course jisse aapko later on pr bhi mil sake so there are hundreds and hundreds of courses which are available all for humanitarian uh, commerce as well as science background so depending upon ki aapka kya background hai you can take up different courses so if i talk about you can go for 3d animation you can go for business analytics and insights early childhood education aerospace manufacturing engineering technician architectural technician advertising and marketing communication management so people who are from commerce background can take this course then we have music arts and performance so this is for someone who likes uh, creating producing music Uh, software engineering technology artificial intelligence this is quite a hot uh, a subject to study these days uh, all the technology companies are moving towards artificial intelligence so this is something what you can study and uh, fetch pr for you uh, public relation corporate communication so this is again a commerce uh, course then we have uh, all different sort of courses like financial planning exercise uh, science and lifestyle management journalism project management on uh, enterprise software development so these these are for the uh, software development then 3d modeling and visual effect production this is for mechanical engineering insurance management property and casualty this is for commerce students web design and development this is for the science students specifically for the computer science and human resource management for the people who are planning to study management there so as you can see there is a different uh, whole sort of options which are available for you to study in canada so aapka jo bhi background hai we can find a relevant course so that you get the admission easily then the visa easily and then later on you can find a decent job and apply for your residency so we shall begin with our uh, list of the top 5 colleges and for you we have number 5 which is centennial college so this is this college is uh, located in toronto so if you are planning to study in this college for ug program so ug is basically undergraduate program you are uh, so, uh, like the fee ranges between 14000 to 18000 dollars and for a post graduate program the fee range from 15000 to 25000 25000 so it depends what course you are planning and what uh, how long the course is so we are supposed to pay a fees which is in the range of this amount so now the uh, the ielts requirement so ielts requirement for ug and pg so this will remain constant for all the uh, this will remain constant for all the uh, universities because we are focusing more on sds requirement so as per canadian government uh, regulation the sds requirement is six bands no band less than six so in all the four modules you are required to have at least six bands 
So for a UG, it, it, the requirement is overall six, no bend less than six. And for a PG program, the requirement is 6.5, no bend less than six. Now, uh, Centennial has all its campuses in Toronto. So the uh, list of the campuses is mentioned here. So depending upon uh, if you have any friends or relatives there, you can choose which campus you want to take or depends ki aap jahan par aapko course karna hai, wo kaun se campus mein. So it's a quite a big, massive college. It's a lot of campuses. Hai, so that's a good advantage for you. Now the eligibility criteria. So the eligibility criteria is that you need at least 50% to start with. Uh, for your uh, UG program and goes up to 70, depending if it's a science, commerce or art, what uh, what background do you have and what uh, program you're planning to go for. Same goes for PG. So for PG also, you need at least 50 to 70%. Now, the duration of the course. So for undergraduate, there are three options. You can go for a college diploma, which is for two years advanced diploma, which is for three years and a bachelor's degree for four years. So in India, we have uh, the bachelor's degree mostly for three years, but in Canada, they have the bachelor's degree for four years. Now going forward, uh, the postgraduate diploma, there are two options, one year and two year option. So you can either go for a graduate certificate or a postgraduate certificate or diploma, which is for two years. So what happens is uh, in like all these colleges, they do not have the master's program. They only have the graduate certificates or a postgraduate certificate or diploma. So that is number five college. And the best part about this college is that there is no application fee. So you don't have to pay any application fee for this college. This application is completely free, free as long as you have all the required documents. So for your documents, you would require um, your academic document, which is your 10, 12, graduation, all mark sheet and a degree. An IELTS score of uh, 6.5, no matter less than 6 for a PG program or a 6 overall for a UG program. And then you need a minimum percentage what they require. So if you would submit these documents, you get an offer letter. And once you have the offer letter, you can submit the fee pay your GIC and file for the visa. So we help you with all these steps. So first uh, accumulating all your documents, then uh, making the application to the college, getting the offer letter, helping you submit the fee, opening your GIC account, getting your medical done, biometric and filing for your visa. So we take care of you for uh, all the different steps which are required in order to study in Canada. So now going forward, we have number four college, which is Sheridan College. So there is a very high success rate recently for Sheridan College, and it is one of my favorite. So to study in uh, Sheridan College, you are looking at applying, uh, paying the fee between 17,000 to 24,000, depending upon the specialization you want to take. And then for PG starts from 19,000, goes up to 25,000. So the fees is a little bit on the higher side, but the quality of education, that's remarkable. Now, again, the IELTS requirement, same UG six overall, no band less than six, and for PG 6.5, no band less than six. Also the requirement for SDS visa file. Now, uh, Sheridan has three campus, uh, Hazel, which is in uh, Mississauga, Brampton and Oakville. Now, the eligibility criteria is little on the higher side for UG program. So it starts with 60% goes up to 75%. And for PG, it starts from 50% goes up to 80%. Now, again, the uh, duration of the course, you will get two years, three years and four years options here. And then postgraduate certificate and diplomas for both one year and two years. So this college has a post uh, project management, which is uh, quite famous. They, they have international business that is also quite famous. Marketing management, that's one of the best schools they have. So if you are looking forward for a management course, Sheridan should be your call. This, uh, this college has a very high success rate in terms of visa. And I'm sure that you will be getting your visa without any problem. And the, rate, uh, the employment rate after the course is again very high. So this will going to be one of the uh, best colleges you can apply.
Now, application fee for this college is hundred dollars. So once you'll be applying for the courses, you'll you are expected to pay hundred dollars as an application fee. Now moving forward, uh, we have the George Brown College again, one of the favorites colleges in Canada. The success rate for the visa is very very high. So we are uh, we are looking at uh, getting the at almost hundred percent approval for this college. The best part is the UG course start as little uh, as fifteen thousand dollars. So this is uh, very affordable in terms of the quality of education what you are going to get. And then the IELTS requirement remains the same, which is overall six, no more less than six. And for PG six point five, no more less than six. Now George Brown has four different campuses. Uh, all of them are in Toronto, Ontario, uh, Saint James, Waterfront, Casa Loma, and Rearson. Now the eligibility criteria, the eligibility criteria starts from 50% goes up to 75% for UG and 50% to 80% for PG, which is postgraduate. Now, again, the, uh, they have all the three different uh, duration, two years, three years, four years for the undergraduate and one year and two years for postgraduate. So if you are planning to George Brown, it's uh, advisable that you should apply for at least six to eight months before the start date because this college is, is in so much high demand that the seat gap fill as soon as the uh, admission starts open. So we are already uh, making the application for January 22 and May 22 is about to start. So in my recommendation, if you're planning to apply for George Brown, then you should uh, not waste even a single minute. Make sure that you plan your study, your IELTS in such a way that you can apply on time. There's no point wasting your time and uh, you should make the application as soon as possible. Now the application fee for this uh, college, George Brown is $95. So people who have just started their research, this video will be very useful to them that they will be able to compare different colleges, what is the uh, application fee, the IELTS requirement, the course fee, eligibility criteria. So if you have somebody who is just starting to do their research, you can share this video with them as well. Now, going forward, we have number two college, Seneca. Seneca is a very, I would say a hot college, very famous in Canada. So anyone who has done their research, they always lend up and hearing this name, which is Seneca College. So to study in Seneca, you need to pay, it is pretty much same like uh, George Brown. So you are expected to pay $15,000 to $19,000 between this for your UG course and the PG fees is $16,000 to $24,000. Now the IELTS requirement is pretty much the same throughout the colleges, six overall, no more than six for UG and 6.5, no more than six for your PG. Now, Seneca has a lot of campuses. So when you are talking about the number of seats which are available at this college, that's quite high. The range of the courses available at this college is also very high. So you can expect to get the admission very fast. The best part is they accept the uh, profile with a little bit of gap as well. So if you have five, seven, 10 years of gap, you can still apply here for the PG programs. So uh, going forward, the eligibility criteria starts from 50% for both UG and PG and goes up to 75 to 80% depending upon what course you want to take. Now, uh, this college also have all the options available, two years, three years, four years for UG and one year and two years for PG. Now the application fee for this college is $90. So this is worth the money which you are going to invest here. So in our opinion, when you make the application for Canadian colleges, what you can do, uh, you can uh, make like two to three applications so that you have different options. Because sometimes what happens is uh, the intake is quite near. You have little less time and then you are expected to uh, get uh, the time should like you should have ample of time with you. So the ample of time, if you make three to four application, you will have uh, 
enough time to decide which uh, course you want to take and which college you want to select. So this would be a very good uh, option for you. So Seneca, always keep Seneca on your uh, application list. Now, the number one college, the most awaited college in our opinion would be Humber College. This is one of the most exclusive college with the maximum number of uh, courses which are available. And it is like the competition to get into this college is quite high. So any consultant you'll go to, they will uh, always try and give you the Humber College if your profile is eligible so that the uh, chances of getting the visa approval are quite high. So the what application uh, the uh, tuition fee you'll be paying is between 15,000 to 19,000 dollars and for PG program you're expected to pay somewhere between 16 to 24,000 dollars depending upon what course you want to apply. Now the overall uh, band requirement the IELTS band requirement is again six bands no band is in six and for PG 6.5 no band is in six. So if you are expecting to study in top five colleges Make sure that your IELTS is quite good because there are different courses where IELTS requirement is even higher. So in our opinion, IELTS is something which you need to take care of quite uh, strongly. Like IELTS should be your forte. Now, Humber has three uh, campuses, Lakeshore, North Toronto and International Graduate School, which is in Toronto, Ontario. Now, eligibility criteria, the starts from as little as 50%, goes up to 75 to 80% in both uh, UG and PG. Because the competition is so high that you want to make sure that you apply before time. And then uh, they have all the options available for three years, two years, three years, four years, and PG one year and two years. Now, the application fee for this college is $75. So guys, uh, this was the list for the uh, top five colleges. Now I'm ready to take any questions you might have so that uh, we can understand what challenges you might, guys might, might be facing and what all different uh, options we can help you out with. So I am... So uh, we have a question from Vaishnavi. Uh, she's asking, can you tell me what are the specialization provided in these colleges? So like we discussed earlier, there are a lot of specialization which are available uh, at these colleges. Uh, so the courses which are available are tremendous. Depending upon what course you want to take, we have the options for you. So. If you are from the commerce background, we will have uh, business analytics, uh, then you, we can have advertising, marketing, public relation, we have project management. If you are from the uh, science background, we have computer science, mechanical, electrical. So depending upon what specialization and what background you have, you can take the specialization accordingly. So the next question we have is from Chetan Gupta. Hi Chetan, how are you doing? Uh, the question is, I had a, I had completed my BCom in May 2017. After that, till date, assistant accountant experience. IELTS six, no less than six. So that's a great profile for you. Uh, you can like for accountancy, you can choose any of these colleges. Uh, your IELTS requirement is also fulfilled depending upon what. Um, percentage you have you can and if you have any location preference you can apply for uh, any of these colleges you can call on the number given below one of the counselors we have they will be able to help you out with the application and we can uh, give you the specialization depending upon what you want to do if accountancy also falls in the uh, uh, this uh, skill shorter list of canada so that will again be a huge advantage for you that uh, you can get your residency quite easily once you'll complete uh, the course. So you can go for a one year course or a two years course. So one, year, one year course will give you uh, one year of stay back. If you'll go for a two years course, that will give you three years of stay back, which will be a very good option for you to settle down there. Now, the third question is uh, what courses are available? 
Sake Pathan. Hi, Sake. How are you doing? Uh, the, co- uh, the question is what courses are available for electrical engineering graduate student? So electrical engineering graduate, we have uh, like the one we discussed. Uh, so you can, you can go for uh, engineering technician. You can go for electrical engineering technician. You can also go for uh, uh, this. If this uh, falls into your uh, 3D modeling and visual effect production. So there are different courses which are available. So once you'll share your profile with us, our counselors will give you a call, discuss your profile and give you the relevant option. So these questions, uh, these uh, specialization will be available at different uh, colleges. So depending upon your profile, we can suggest you. There's a number given down below, which is double eight one zero four three double five double zero, which you can call and uh, share your documents, your 10, 12 graduation, your IELTS score, your passport. And we can create a profile for you and give you the specific options where you can uh, thrive. So uh, which colleges, uh, Chetan has another question, which colleges are open for Jan and Tech? Uh, most of the colleges are open right now. So depending on which course you want to apply, please call the number given below. Our counselor will uh, call you and discuss your profile and give you the option like most of the colleges are still open so it's not too late for to apply for jan 22 you can give us a call and we can uh, sort out the course for you and give you the specific uh, of that course now west navi has a question uh, is bbs supply chain management is available in this college yes uh, supply chain management is available on these uh, in these colleges so supply chain management is pretty much available uh, throughout Canada. We have a separate video for supply chain management course, which you can uh, see. And uh, it, it, uh, there we have given all the uh, fee eligibility criteria, again, IELTS requirement, the location, and how much post-study work visa you can get. So all the complete information of different colleges where supply chain management is available is uh, on our channel. So please subscribe this channel so that you get uh, these uh, updated videos as well as the information about studying Canada. Uh, what else guys? Uh, so these days uh, I'm hearing a lot of uh, things that um, Canada is not giving the visa and the rejection rate is quite high. So I want to address that as well. So imagine if uh, 100 people are applying for the visa, what probability do you think that everyone will get the visa? I am not sure. I don't think so. So depending upon the profile, the visa officer is liable to give you the visa. They want to make sure that uh, your genuine intention are there to study. So when you write your SOP, you want to make sure that you are taking up a relevant course you're going to a good college, you have paid the full year fee, you have paid your GIC, you have enough sufficient funds for your uh, education and you highlight what is the main purpose of this education. Is it the career progression? You are looking forward for a higher salary, the better exposure and you want to come back to India. Always remember st study visa application is a temporary entry visa it's not a permanent visa so you cannot uh, expect to tell them that you want to stay in canada always highlight which all companies will give you a job in india what the salary package expected once you complete the course so these are the very crucial thing what you need to address in your application if you don't then visa officer it will be very hard for visa officer to determine what are your true intentions are so make sure that your SOP is quite compelling. It should cover all the points which uh, are beneficial for you to get the uh, result. So if you have any doubt regarding your SOP or you are planning to write your SOP, you can um, consult with us. We can help you out. That would not be a problem. So uh, we have another question uh, from uh, Mr. Robin Kakkar. Let me just uh, read it. Uh, hi, Robin. How are you doing? Uh, is there any chance for a student to do MS in computer science who have three years bachelor's in computer science? 
if yes what are the possibility how we can pursue ms in canadian university uh robin uh, the uh, universities in canada they they work on a four years bachelor's degree program so if you have done a three years degree in uh, india the chances are they will ask you to do a bridge course or they would expect you to do a one year uh, pg course which will make you eligible to study at a university level so in my recommendation if you take one year pg program and without getting the uh, post study work visa if you will enroll yourself in a masters program that will make you eligible to study at a university level for masters in uh, computer science or whatever specialization you want to do so uh, the courses which we discussed today the colleges they do not have any problem in taking 3 years of bachelor's degree however if you are planning to study at a university level they are expecting you to have at least 4 years of bachelor's degree having said this there are different university which accept 3 years bachelor's degree as well so we can uh, definitely talk to you uh, understand your profile better there's a number given below you can give us a call we can talk to you understand your case and uh, give you the relevant option where all we can uh, help you apply with 3 years of bachelor's degree any other question you guys have uh, so uh, another tip what i want to give you guys is like if you uh, most of these courses are for uh, like if you talk about for ug course there is no problem ug is like you, you just cleared your class 12 you don't have any gap the 6.5 ielts requirement is uh, fulfilled six bands no band less than six you make the application chances of getting the visa are quite high but when we talk about the pg courses the pg courses most of the student either they have lot of backlogs they have extended tier in their degree or they have a uh, work experience gap or they do not uh, like they, they, they have not worked so the uh, pg applications are little tricky to handle so if somebody is planning to study a post graduate course so make sure that your case is handled in a very nice manner otherwise the chances of getting the visa rejection are quite high for example if somebody who has done a pg uh, post graduate diploma or masters in india already and they are planning to do a masters degree or a pg course in canada that they have to give a very nice justification like you can uh, the immigration officer will always tell you that you have already completed a masters degree in india why do you want to go and uh, study in canada now and they the chances are that they might reject your visa so we want to make sure that uh, it doesn't happen to your case so we have got that experience that uh, we can tell you what are the do's and don'ts in these cases what courses you should apply to and uh, what documentation you should put in your uh, file so that immigration officer understand the uh, your application in a better manner and then we can represent you in a, a better way so in our opinion it's always advisable that uh, that you should take care of your uh, application in a in a proper manner otherwise the chances of getting the visa rejection are quite high uh, just a moment there is a glitch in the system you're welcome robin uh, thank you for your uh, message so uh, just repeating what we have covered today uh, top 5 colleges to study in canada we have uh, uh, so another question we have from uh, robin so can we do a pg diploma through distance learning will they consider it in a four year study they can again see the, if i talk about university of uh, british columbia toronto mcgill mcmaster probably they will might not but uh, university like york uh, elgoma then university canada west all these university might be able to accept these application 
So Dibin, uh, Trent might also accept, Nipin Singh, Thompson River. So it depends from case to case. So in order to suggest you something in particular, we have to understand your profile. So that's the reason why we ask you to give us a call so that the, the counseling team is so experienced that they will be able to give you the precise answer. It happens that everyone has their own background. Apni requirement hai bhi kaun se aap distance learning se karenge, kya wo university reputed hai ya nahi hai, kya wo blacklisted hai, kya aapke waha par document accept honge nahi honge, what is the method of uh, them conducting the exam, so all these things matter. So jab hum apply karte hai, so we want to make sure that you get the offer and then you can apply in that particular university, where you admission mil Like we have seen in this uh, the same video that uh, except one, all the four universe, uh, colleges had the application fee. Same applies to university also. So if you're making application to three to four university, you're uh, liable to accept, uh, expect to spend at least 15, 20,000 rupees. So, जो 15-20,000 रुपए we want to make sure कि वो आप save कर पाएं जिससे कि आप वहीं पर apply करें यहाँ से आपको offer letter आएगा. So instead of doing that uh, degree जो आप India में पहले distance learning में pay करेंगे और फिर उसके बाद you will go and study there. So you want to make sure that it add value to your profile. So you don't take any step which is not uh, favorable और जो आपके favor में नहीं है. So Make sure that you discuss discuss one time and get better results. So now uh, winding up this today's video and uh, if you have any question, uh, can I get an admission easy for bachelor's program in Canada, sir? Definitely, Vaishnavi, you can get the admission easily. Just give us a call on 8810435500. Make sure that you have a Zoom call with us. You can also call your parents in the Zoom call so that वो भी समझ पाएं कि इतनी fees है, वो कैसे range होगी, education loan है, वो कैसे आप avail कर सकते हैं. So all these things we can give you the proper career guidance. कौन से college में आप apply कर सकते हैं, वहाँ पर आपको कोई relative है, जहाँ पर आप रह सकते हैं जाकर, आपके accommodation कैसे sort out होगी. So everything will be covered. So you can give us a call, we can schedule a Zoom uh, call for you where you can speak to the uh, counselor one on one and it will be very beneficial for you. Uh, we have a question from Siddhantra what all countries are open? So, right now, uh, the countries what you guys can uh, apply to obviously Canada, Canada, they have always said ki, even if you are not able to travel, you can take up online classes and the time period will be counted towards your post-study work visa. So, this is a advantage ka paas point. Hai. So, Canada is open and as well as UK is open. So, if you are planning to study abroad and uh, apart from Canada, you don't want to go to such a cold country, then UK is another option for you. So, you can try UK as well. You can plan UK as well. We can uh, conduct a separate video for that. However, just to answer your question, UK is also open right now. So, Vaishnavi, we are looking forward to speak to you one-on-one -on -one, uh, with your parents so that we uh, can answer your questions ko par answer kar sake. So, so as goes for Robin and uh, who else we, did we speak to in this video? Uh, Robin, Sakeb, Chetan. So guys, please uh, like this video. And if you uh, subscribe to this channel, then you will be able to get the uh, real authentic uh, information about studying in Canada. And yes, we are looking forward to help you out and uh, build a strong community. We can connect you with the students who are already studying in Canada through us. And uh, whatever question you might have, you can uh, just give us a WhatsApp. The WhatsApp is also available on the same number. So if you guys want, you can WhatsApp us. And any question, anything to do with uh, education loan, IELTS classes, we have all these options available with us. We'll give you end-to-end -end services and uh, we don't charge anything for this in terms of the counseling.
we have another question from uh, Advit. Sir, do PG diploma courses in Canada, mechatronics is valued in other countries? Definitely, Advit. Uh, see, uh, in the world, there are top five uh, destinations which are considered uh, US number one, then we have UK, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand. So if you are studying from any of these uh, countries, definitely that will add a lot of value to your CV. The knowledge is quite impeccable. So all these courses, they also come with co-op. Yeah, so this is another thing what you guys can uh, know about. So the co-op means you study and then you, uh, you get a practical placement done through your college. So what does it uh, help you is you, it helps you get the practical exposure. So whatever you study in the class, you actually get to perform in a live workplace environment. So all the big good companies from all over the world understand this, the nature of teaching what Canada has. So definitely uh, this answers your question that if you do a course like this from Canada, will that get the value in other countries? Definitely. Definitely you will get the uh, uh, value added to your CV. So later on, if you are planning to study or oh, sorry, uh, work in different part of the world, then that option is always available for you. So guys, uh, I think we should uh, wind up here. Uh, it was nice speaking to you. Please subscribe to this channel. And uh, uh, my name is Chakit, Chakit Sharma. Uh, the number is given below, 8810435500. If you guys want uh, to speak to us on one-on-one, -on -one, I will be available on this number. Our counselors are available. And whatever question you might have, uh, you can give us a call discuss and if you like the counseling the hard work the expertise we have then definitely we can help you in uh, settling down in canada and uh, yeah thank you so much and you have a lovely day ahead and we shall see you in our next video thank you very much